At the select board meeting, the select board heard the results of a community satisfaction survey, which was hosted by the National Research Center. Damima Mann presented the results. That um, we have amassed a very large benchmarking comparison database. Um, there's about 600 communities across the U.S. Um, that have uh, conducted the NCS and uh, we've been able to create an average rating for each item on the survey. So in addition to uh, giving you your ratings and comparing Hopkinton's ratings from 2013 to 2020, we're also able to tell you how your ratings compare to those national averages because um, some services are always going to be more highly regarded than others in, in these kinds of surveys and it's a great way to help put the results into context. Next slide please. So here's a, uh, a snapshot of how Hopkinton compared or stacked up to that national benchmarking database um, for each item on the survey. Um, 86 of the question items were similar to the benchmark, 38 were higher, 14 received lower ratings. We have intentionally made it difficult to be anything other than similar to the benchmark. Um, and then is to help make the data as actionable as possible. So areas where you're higher than the benchmark should truly be considered areas where you're excelling and areas where you're lower um, could be potential areas to, um, to, to direct more resources um, depending on what they are and how they compare to town priorities. Um, areas where Hopkinton, this, so this is unusual. We expect to see most ratings be similar to the benchmark um, and they were for Hopkinton. However, the number of ratings that were higher than the benchmark are, are definitely a, a standout to us. Um, Hopkinton excelled in many areas. Uh, a lot of them had to do with quality of life, um, education, the town as a place to live, neighborhoods as a place to live, town as a place to raise children, uh, parks and recreation, and many, many of the ratings that were higher than the national averages had to do with safety, overall feelings of safety, uh, police services, crime prevention, emergency preparedness. Uh, so those were some standouts there. And then as for those that were lower than the benchmark, I'm going to get into a little bit more detail on them on some upcoming slides. Um, next slide, please. Here's a quick snapshot of how the ratings in 2020 that were able to be compared to those from 2013 um, uh, stacked up. You can see overall um, of the ratings that we were able to compare uh, between the two surveys, most of them remained stable over time. 44 items were stable, 23 were trending up, which is also notable, and um, 12 were lower in 2020 than in 2013. Next slide, please. The ratings for the overall economic health of Hopkinton um, were very strong, about uh, almost all rating it is excellent or good, 87%. Uh, this rating was higher than the national benchmark. Next slide, please. There were um, some noted changes between the 2013 survey and the 2020 survey. Uh, ratings for economic development, the overall quality of businesses and service establishments, and those not experiencing housing cost stress increased in 2020 compared to 2013. Um, whereas ratings for shopping opportunities, employment opportunities, and those that had a positive um, economic impact uh, we're, we're declining um, and those that are declining are very similar to what we've seen uh, for many communities that collected data in 2020 and you know during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so those are, are very much uh, likely to be related uh, to that. I Next have slide. a question. Um, when we're comparing the national average, are we comparing uh, Hawkinton as compared to all other towns of similar sizes or just all other towns? So for the, that's a great question. For the national benchmark, it is compared to all of the communities in our database. So uh, much larger cities and counties and, and from all regions across the US, it's about um, over 600 communities. And so that's what I focused on in the presentation. But in the technical appendices report, um, there is a custom subset of benchmark comparisons. And we worked with town staff to determine what, what that would be. And that's so that's a much smaller subset of communities. Um, it's communities, other communities in New England, um, and also some that have similar population ranges and um, annual household income levels. OK, thanks. It, it, it seems like if we're comparing Hopkinton to, you know, someplace in Nebraska or Montana where there's far fewer people, it's not really an apples to apples comparison, you know. It's true. You're never going to find your, you know, exact twin. Um, however, you know, all local governments are in the same business of providing services to their residents. Um, and so we do see some, you know, kind of national patterns. Um, I will say that, you know, th those jurisdictions 
in the national database even, uh, tend to be more high performing data driven organizations because they're doing surveys like this in the first place. Um, so you're being compared to a pretty, um, you know, high, high level of community. Um, and then with that subset, um, the custom benchmark comparisons that we also have in the reporting for you, uh, I'd say it's an even more challenging subset. Um, however, Hopkinton still performed very well um, with those communities. 